Hey, we're here in Chicago at the Pitchfork Music Festival, and as you can see, the sky opened up just a little while ago, so we're all a little bit wet, but uh, really excited to be here talking with Atlas Maw, who just played a phenomenal set at the Blue Stage at Pitchfork. Thanks for talking to us for a few minutes, guys. Thanks for having us. So I wanted to start by asking, um, your new record, uh, An Ache for the Distance, which is incredible, got a lot of attention from some unconventional places, written by places like NPR. Did you, how did you feel about that? Were you surprised by that? Oh, uh, it was kind of a nice surprise for sure. You know, uh, I think uh, none of us are necessarily the biggest of metal fans, uh -huh. you know, to keep up with like the new stuff coming out. So to see it on like Pitchfork or NPR, it was pretty rad. We have, we have something to offer everybody. If, if you had to guess, what do you think people were responding to that, in some of these other circles? There was a naked girl on the cover. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> that helped. I mean, that's, <laughs> a big, that's a big appeal. Yeah, yeah, it is. We draw from a lot of influences. I mean, uh, including ones that would be, you know, some people that are playing Pitchfork, you know what I mean? We're excited to see bands here. But it's awesome to also be able to, you know, do this and, you know, see a full crowd of people that may not have ever even heard of us that still dug it, you know? It's just, even though it's heavy, it's kind of approachable still. Kind of a transition question, the album's called An Ache for the Distance, and I know in other interviews you've given it, you've said it's about being home and wanting to be on the road and feeling that sense of loss. What is it that you like about traveling so much? What, what is that ache for the distance? Uh, I think being on tour is like living in the moment. It's awesome, you know, you never know what's gonna happen. You sleep on someone's floor, you sleep in a hotel. I mean, you know, uh, you're sick one day, you're not sick the next, I mean, it's great. Well, the last little thing we wanna do, talking about kind of that ache and that sense of loss, we have Ami is here with us today and she's a spiritualist. Awesome. And she's gonna do a color card exercise with okay. you kind of designed to focus on that. I'll let her talk about yes, it a little sure. bit. All right. Doing a color card reading, it's really important because when you do that, the card you pick out, it could be what you're lacking or what you need to focus on. Pick a card. Pick a card, okay. Yeah. Okay, you picked <gasps> Tangerine. <laughs> Be spontaneous and have fun, which you already do, this it guy seems knows like. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> so you're Tangerine, you're doing great. And if you surround yourself with more Tangerine and the more you travel and even envisioning it, it helps. Right on, I'm into that. Tangerines yeah. are also delicious. Yes, yes they, they are. are. Eat yeah. them. Fantastic. Yeah. That's exactly what I was trying to pick, actually. Regenerate awesome. your body. What blue. does it mean to you? Well, I was thinking about blue because I mean, I have, I've got blue here. It's like a, I mean, it's just like a confidence thing. It's a yeah. power, kind of like being, being able to be heard. That's awesome. So it's basically telling you you're doing the right yes. thing and focusing on blue. Awesome. And the next thing we have is uh -oh. sage <laughs> and <laughs> salt spray. <laughs> I don't is think we need it. Salt burn sage. Yeah. Burn sage on stage. Awesome. Yeah. What's hey, up? Hey, bring it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Woo! <laughs> I love it. Awesome. That's Thank you very much. Guys, thanks so much. Stay dry. I hope the show later tonight goes yeah. awesome. Thank you. Yeah.